This session is with Ada. Ada is an eight-month-old female boxer puppy who lives in Bath, Pennsylvania with her people Amanda and Nate. This is, uh, Ada is Amanda's first dog and she's had her since she was a six-week-old puppy. Ada is full of energy and Amanda would like to know if she's enjoying her life. What's her favorite part of the day? What are her favorite things to do? She also wants to know why she's jumping up on people. Ada has a lot to say about a lot of things and not just about her day-to-day -day life. Like her, her bi-colored eyes, her yin-yang personality comes in and shows up and goes in and out pretty much at will. <laughs> and her higher self has a lot to share with Ada and Nate about how they can all live their best lives. So let's now hear from Ada. Good morning, Amanda. I'm Christine. I'm so excited to do this with her. She's a, she's a pretty happy little girl, isn't she? Um, Thanks for getting in touch with me, and um, yeah, so let me give you a, a short overview of how I work first. Um, I do things not just uh, telepathically, but also uh, intuitively, which is shamanically, which is uh, with the help of spirit. So we do things very much um, on the 3D level, which is telepathic, which is energy exchange. Um, and that is easily done through space and time uh, and also with connection to higher self as well and um, dogs absolutely have um, spirit a uh, higher self above them as we do part of our, our consciousness is in our bodies and part of our consciousness is above us so that's called our higher self the part of us that knows why we're here and what we're doing and and um, dogs have the same they thing. have uh, a collective consciousness a collective dog consciousness but they also have an individual consciousness so I work on both levels and then I have Ada's picture here and I tune into you know a color and she absolutely wants red red is her color it's a it's a security. It's the base. It's the foundation. Foundation is the word that the watchword that comes up with her for red. Um, so I have these different colored pieces of cloth that I lay on here, so to represent the energy of each dog. And I don't have a red one, right? So she's like, I had a sort of an orange. She's like, no, nah, that's not the right color. So I had to go find a red tablecloth. So we've got red. She's like, yeah, that's it. I want red, red, red. So that's her color. The color, her energy, her energy, which is uh, security, foundations. Um, yeah, I connect with her telepathically. She is, you know, um, perky, curious, interested. You know, a youthful spirit, not a youthful body, but I mean, she obviously has, but she has a youthful spirit. And, um, but then she says, I'm, I'm, I'm all knowing what is needed. I'm like, okay. She's like, don't be fooled by my youthful spirit. Okay, good. And, and you know, the red, the foundations, I feel very strongly that she's here to help you build a foundation in life and pay attention to the basics. Then I kind of tune in. I see her jumping from couch to chair to, you know, so excited. And I feel like she's excited about pretty much everything in her life. Anything, you know, is, is wow, that's cool. We're going to do this. This is happening. Um, and she can be a little overexcitable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and then she's like licking my face, you know, and, um, and I said, I said, well, hi, I'm Christine, and she doesn't really care. She's like, cool, you can cool, you know, cool, I'll, anybody is cool. Um, and, um, I feel like the licking my face is sort of, she didn't ask me, she's just like up there doing it. And um, I say, well, I'm here to ask you some questions. Amanda has some questions for you. And she's like, questions? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I want to talk. But I'm like, we're going to review the questions. She's like, okay. <laughs> she wants to tell me right away, though, before we review that Amanda is my best friend. I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I then like to use an oracle. I ask for, to, to understand the energy 
and, and I want Spirit to help me with this because, you know, I've got red, I've got the word foundations that was a watchword that was given to me, and I want to know um, what energy she embodies right now as a dog. So I ask, I ask uh, my angels and guides in Metatron to, to give us the energy around Ada right now. And that energy is go with the flow, paddle on. All right, now I'm like, no, that's that's not what I wanted. I wanted, you know, security, foundation, blah, blah. Nope, nope. It's go with the flow. So this is why it's really helpful to have spirit involved in this because we get a deeper message. So this, this is about she is just here to, uh, right now, uh, in, a, in a place of enjoying the flow, enjoying the energy of her home, enjoying her life. She's pretty much open to anything. She'll go anywhere. She's singular in this boat, um, which is sort of floating her down the river, and she's not afraid of it, and she's just ready. She's ready to live her life. She's ready to go wherever, whatever. She's up for it. So that's the energy around Ada right now that Spirit gives us, shows us. And I'm going to turn this off. And I am going to, Ada and I are going to talk about all your questions. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what she's, she's shared. Okay. It'll be a fraction of a second in your world. Okay. Hi again. I have a lot to tell you. Um... first thing that I want to say is that uh, when I first saw her picture, I'm just going to say this now, and she addresses this later. When I first saw her picture, I noticed her eyes. They're bi, which is cool. Um, one's brown, one's blue. I love that. And one seems to look a little to the side. And so I wondered if that would come up. Um, and it did. Uh, physically, she's fine. She'll talk about that. We'll talk about There's that. A very yin yang balanced energy about her. There's the play and then there's the serious. So I think it's the, she really, um, her higher self really comes in and chimes in from time to time. And we kind of got in a few, to a few serious discussions. So um, I just wanted to prep you for that. I really appreciated that. Um, and so uh, she's definitely still go with the flow. But let's let's dive into our talk. Okay, so um, so we uh, obviously I I made her wait through the questions, and she's like, "Look how patient I'm being," and I'm like, "Yes, you've been a great waiter. Thank you." And she's like, "You're welcome." And I feel like now the pressure is off, and I feel like waiting is pressure for her. She's like, "Ugh, I gotta wait. She's got all this energy." So um, I said, do you have a hard time waiting, Ada? And she's like, sometimes. I don't like it much. But uh, uh, when there's something awesome to come, I will wait. And like, so when she knows there's something there that she has to wait for, she'll wait. But otherwise, she's just like, ah, I want in. I want, I want it all. And so uh, I said, oh, are you enjoying your life, Ada? Because I kind of know she is. And she's like, very much so. And she says, I am the play queen. I'm like, Oh, the playtime queen? And she's like, yep, I get to do, I get to go to all the playtimes. And she's like, I get to go here and I get to go there. And I am just, uh, I said, that sounds like a lot of fun. Who do you play with? And she's like, everyone, those that are like me, those that are not like me, everyone. She's like all about playing with anybody and anything that will play with her. And I see two cats. And so I know that you've asked about Floyd and Foxy, and I really feel like they're cats. And so, um, and I said, are Floyd and Foxy your play friends? And she's like, yes, but I like them more than they like me. I'm like, oh, do they play with you? And she's like, in their own ways. <laughs> I'm growing on them. <laughs> and she grins and she's romping around. You know, I see this in my mind, you know. And uh, <laughs> she's looking at me, making sure I get this right. So she's like, <laughs> we, we ended on the more of a serious note. And so she's still in that phase and she's making sure I get all these things right. I'm like, I wrote it down, girlfriend. I got it. And she's like, okay. <laughs> So in my mind, she's romping around. And this is the, the yin side of her, right? 
I, she's like, I think I interrupt their sleep. Ah, I see why they might get annoyed. And she's like, no, not annoyed, just resigned, I think. And I'm laughing. I said, they sound like nice friends. And she says, they are. And I said, okay, what's your favorite part of the day? Eating. I love eating. <laughs> like, okay, what do you like to eat? And I see her diving. She like eat anything. I see her diving into her food bowl. She wants the cat's food. I feel like you have to keep it up on a counter so she doesn't get into it. She wants your food. She wants everyone's food. Um, she's like, but I can't have theirs. I, I want it though. <laughs> Um, and she's she's okay with this, but she's still gonna keep trying. You know, if it becomes accessible, she's gonna take it. <laughs> All right, I said, oh, that's I understand that. All right, I said, okay. How about you tell me about your school and your daycare? She's like two different things. I'm not sure what she means. Does she go to two different places? And she's like, play is this one. Like, all right, how do you like your, do you like your daycare? I feel like that's the play one. She's like, love it. I am the play queen, remember? <laughs> I do. I do remember. Um, is that where you got your name? Yup. I feel like she gave herself that name, though, you know. Um, she's like, when one friend is done playing, I find another. And there are so many friends there. <laughs> I love that, Ada. It sounds like great fun. <laughs> And she, 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 she shows me that she, she, it is fun, but not so fun when she has to go in her crate. And there's, I feel like there's downtime. Um, she would like to play until she just falls asleep, like wherever, you know, and everybody, but she doesn't like the down crate time. So again, I explained to her, I said, Ada, it's necessary to have rest time. And she's like, why? I don't like having to rest. I like because all animals need to rest and when you are with friends who are a lot different than you you are all very different you need it's good to have a scheduled time so that no one gets overtired she's like oh yep everyone's different remember yep okay I see she says and I'm glad you see it's good that you understand you know why you're asked to do these things So along those lines, I have another question for you, Ada. She's like, hmm. I said, Amanda's wondering why you don't come when your name is called. And I hear her say, come? What is come? Hmm. That's how Amanda and all of we humans would ask you to, to walk to us. And she's like, hmm. So I feel like name does not equal come. And she doesn't know come. I mean, literally. I really feel strongly. Um, I see you putting her leash on her and then pulling it and saying come. But that's not, that's not getting the, that's not really come. That's something compelling her to move in a direction other than she's moving. And she's not, there's, I think there needs to be more consistency and some specific training around that uh, for her to learn it. She definitely knows her name. Um, I said, and so I said, Ada, do you like your name? I want to hear what she has to say about it. She's like, it's lovely and elfish. I'm like, elfish? What do you mean by elfish? And she's like, sprightly, bouncy, light, happy. I have a happy name. <laughs> like, yeah, you do have a happy name. And, uh, so, but then I'm like, oh, where did she get the elfish thing? I'm like, so what do you know of elves? They're around. I play with them too, remember? Uh, not like me. She said she played with beings that are like her and beings that are not like her. I didn't quite think she was going to go to elves, but um, I was like, oh yeah, she did say that. That's pretty cool, Ada. I was like, yes. I'm never alone. I'm like, yay, that's great. She's, I'm, I say, I'm glad you have so many friends. And she's like, me too. Me too. <laughs> All right, so here's another question, Ada. Other than eating, because I need, I know she's going to say eating again. Um, what is your favorite thing to do? And she's like, play. I told you. I'm like, okay. I guess, I guess, play with others. She likes to play with others more than she likes to play with things. And I said, okay, fair enough. Sticking to the basics. 
eating and playing. <laughs> yes, we all need more play, she says. I would like more play with mommy and daddy. We should play more in general. Any kind of play would make that would make them happy would make me happy. I would like to be playing together more. And I said, I'll tell them. And she's shifting back to the yang again. And she's good. She says, good. And then she says, I'm okay, you know. And I'm like, what do you mean? And I, I think she's talking to me here. And but maybe you were wondering too. She said, my eyes, I can see just fine. I said, oh, thank you for telling me. I was wondering. She said, I have a special view of the world and it's a good view. I said, well, I'm really so glad about that. And, and then before we move on, because I want to get to this view of the world a little bit, I, I want to go back to the leash because we were talking about training. And I was like, can we just backtrack just for a second? Because I have her more in serious mode again. And, and I show her the leash and a picture of her pulling on it. And she's like, they don't move fast enough. And I'm like, who? Mom, when we walk, dad, when we walk. So I, she's, she's just trying to get where she's, wherever she wants to go, whatever attracts her attention. And I said, does it make them move faster when you pull? No, just harder. It's harder. So she knows it makes everything harder. I said, do you know that it, that it's better if you don't pull? And she's like, why? I said, it's again, a training thing. I said, well, because it won't hurt your neck. And it's happier and easier for your for your person. She's like, hmm. She's not quite connecting this. So again, training needed the foundations, the red, the foundations um, of calm and heal. She just doesn't understand them well yet. I, I I don't feel like she's oppositional. She's not trying to be to push your boundaries. She's got not a mean bone in her body. Um, or her soul, <laughs> uh, she just, her, her, she doesn't understand it yet. She's forward focused and not companion focused. So that's what needs to be to come around is that, what is my person doing? What are we doing together? Not what, what am I doing and dragging them wherever or whatever. Okay. And I feel like, and you asked about uh, who is the alpha and there is none. Um, in her mind, you are equals making equal choices and asks of each other. So she's, she feels she's on equal, she feels equal, which is fine until you need to ask something of her, right? You, you're, you're catering to her every need. She's, her asks are getting met, yours are not. So that's why training is important so that you can truly be companions. Um, yeah, so uh, making equal choices and asking each other, it's a very childlike perspective. Training will help you all. Uh, I said, Ada, okay, I, I, I'd love now to know how you feel about your people. And she's like, I love them. Of course I do. Why would you ask me that? I said, oh, okay. I just wondered if you could tell me something specific that you love about and let's start with Amanda and I hear heart connection we have a heart connection I love that because that's I feel strongly of heart connections obviously I and she said it hurts her to ask me for anything that might upset me she's so sensitive and loving and caring so she just has she just feel big heart energy for you and I said she sounds so lovely and Ada says, she's a gentle person. We're in that yang again, that serious, that higher self, Ada again. I love to snuggle in her lap. I'm getting a little big now, so I don't fit too well, but I still try. I said, I'd probably try to if I were you. <laughs> I said, I don't think, I think that's okay. And I said, and what about Nate? What about your dad? And she's very even more serious now. Oh, he's stoic. He wants everything to be perfect for us all. He loves us very much and I love him. 
And I said, so I'm feeling a little tentative here, but I say, do you have anything you might like to share with Nate? And she says, let go of the need to have more and make life better. You have so much beauty and love in your life, and we love you as you are, just as you are. We have all that we need with you now. Play now, love now, not later. I was like, wow, Ada. That is beautiful. I will share that with him. I see her head on your knees, Nate, looking up at you. She's here for you, Nate, no matter what. Here's why I stopped for a moment, and I wanted to make sure that Spirit would confirm that this is the message that she has for you, truly. I went to the Oracle cards and was given the card of love. Yes, this is absolutely Ada's higher self message for you, Nate. And this gets deeper. She's here for both of you in a deep way, but for different reasons, and we're going to talk about that, okay? Um, and I feel like, Nate, for you, she's here to confirm, confirm for you how valuable you are, how, how, how able you are, your ability to... I see you taking on the just the very basics of training with Ada because I feel like you have the energy that would easily um, allow her to understand what's going on, right? Um, the train, the leash work, and the connect, and it will build Nate a connection between you and her that will be so um, deep. And you know, uh, Amanda has this heart connection with her. This, And I can understand why, Amanda, you have a hard time with training because you don't want her to be upset. There's, you're not going to hurt her. No one's going to hurt her here. This is building the equality, the, the connection between you all. And I believe, Nate, that this is going to give you some confidence. I know you can do this. I'm going to send you a video. Uh, a link to a, a YouTube video of a guy that has that taught me to leash walk, hard pulling sled dogs, <laughs> very easily, and I feel like she's gonna take right to this because she's all about you, right? Um, but I feel Nate that this is this is she's with you to help you. Hard to say this to a guy, to a man, right? You you're a very stoic, very hardworking, very um, confident person, and you take taking care of your family very seriously and she's going to help you feel more confident in yourself that's why she's with you that's why she's with you Nate and to let go of having to make it all better 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 and enjoy what you've got what you what you're building together um so I uh, Ada's I said okay Ada let's end this with what you would like to tell Amanda and Nate about why you've come to be with them. And she says, we are building a foundation, a plan for life that works for all of us. When we focus on the basics, it will allow us to learn skills that will come in handy as we mature as a family. It's just in her higher self. And don't worry, we will mature together, she says. We will mature well if we allow for each other's differences and yet love to play together. Ah, oh, I said, thank you, Ada. You're very wise. She's like, I know all the things. <laughs> and I will share this with them. And she's like, you're welcome. I said, you are so lovely. And I am honored to meet you and that you would be so candid with me and with your people. And she's like, it was an honor for me too. And I said goodbye. And she's like, bye. 
Let's flip back to Ian. <laughs> Bye. Gotta go play. Mm. Animals have come into our lives for reasons, and they are teachers. They are teachers. And she's not going to be a hard student. She's, she's not a hard taskmaster as a teacher. <laughs> she's a lovely girl. So I wanted to end this with it's kind of kind of deep messages and it touched into some personal stuff for the two of you. I realize that. I feel very good about um, about this and about you too and about yeah you're going through the same challenges that everyone does as you start building your lives to, lives together. Um, so I wanted uh, to go and ask Archangel Metatron for a card of advice. And since it was different for both of you, for you, Amanda, around going forward with uh, living and working with Ada, and then around you, Nate, with you going forward and living and working with Ada. And so, Amanda, the card that was given was Transformation. Light and Dark. And... What was given to me around this is don't be afraid to empower her with training. Don't be afraid to empower Ada. You're empowering her. This is your fear. This is your offering. Um, she, she will be empowered when you ask her to do things and you require her to. And uh, there are some very beautiful heart, heart connection ways of training dogs. And I know they work because I use them. And... Um, don't be afraid. She's, you're going to be more connected when you're on truly equal playing field. Okay. And for you, Nate, the advice from Spirit. This is advice from Spirit around going forward with working with and living with Ada. Letting go. Letting go of the need for things to be better, bigger, stronger. Just dealing with the basics, with what is, letting go of trying to make yourself into what you think other people want you to be. They love you just as you are, just as you are. You are enough. Play in love now, she says, not later. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Some readings are good and some are great. This one's great. This, this, she, she's, she's come through in a huge way. So I think you guys are doing a great job. This is what puppies do. They teach us. Yeah. And um, thank you for allowing me to be part of this. All right. So be well, be happy, play together. And um, don't get crushed when she tries to snuggle on your lap, Amanda. Okay. She's getting big, isn't she? 